Hi guys, was there anything in life that you wanted and you basically dummied yourself down to circumstances? Either by saying, I can't afford it, uh, it's too much work, uh, mm, I don't know. That's just your response to it. You dumb yourself down to the circumstances instead of growing, reaching, exploring, trying, asking, how can I get it done? Uh, how can I afford it? What can I do or who do I need to be in order to get things popping and moving? Have you ever approached it that way to the point that the circumstances rise to catch up with you? All right. I used to be, well, I'm still a DIYer, but I was a very strong DIYer in the, I love anything with home improvement accessories, anything like that. I built a lot of things. I was a DIYer junkie. This is before the DIY channel, but the DIYer junkie. And I took on the task one day and advised someone, hey, let's remodel your kitchen. Okay. So in remodeling the kitchen, the idea was to get a new appliances, get, you know, new cabinetry. We could assemble it ourselves. Uh, we can go and get the countertops from somewhere else and have them come in and lay it and all these things. But we were trying to cut corners and the corners was what? Can't afford a new fridge. Hey, the penny saver has a perfectly good fridge right here. We'll just use what the penny saver have to offer. Okay, so a penny, you know, the fridge was bought and put into place. And since this was months before the DIY started, we were just enjoying crisp, cool, nice lettuce. Hey, a fridge is a fridge. What damage could a fridge do? All it does is chill food. It doesn't need to be, it doesn't need to be fancy or pretty or the desired fridge, you know? Like with the double doors and the ice maker back then, those were the big fridges. That was the end thing, two door fridges. All right. Now, let's get cracking and let's start getting our hands dirty. Get our hands dirty, call in some experts to give guidance, lay sub, lay tiles, switch out cabinetry. But there was a hitch, there was a hiccup. That same beautiful, in good condition, discounted penny saver fridge was silently leaking. It leaked so bad that the floor dipped and sagged into the basement. And it's funny, when I would, was in the basement, I used to think, well, what are those brown stains up there? It wasn't wet or anything, so I just figured, hey, that's just an old stain. Anyway, the, the subfloor had to be changed out. By the time the leak was addressed uh, 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 and all the damage was repaired, the price, and this was just fixing the floor just to even lay the tile, was more than the price of the new fridge that was originally wanted. What did I learn from that experience? Go for what you want. Stop faking. Stop faking and go for what you want. Because in my life, I have seen that life has brought me right back around to the same fork, that point in the road to make that decision that I was avoiding to make from the get-go. The decision of where I was avoiding being responsible for my happiness, being responsible for the things in my life that make me come alive, being responsible for growing into the person I needed to be in order to experience that life. We are not here for convenience. We're not here to live a convenient life. It's to live a life of exploration, of love, of growing, of learning. Yeah, well, you can technically say that's an experience that was learned and it's growing from the experience. Go for what you want. Things have a monetary value and things have an emotional value value to it as well don't dummy yourself down just to physicality if there's a certain lifestyle you want to live if there's a certain way you want to look if there is a certain uh, amount of education that you'd like to receive if there's a certain place you want to live these things are calling out to you because they are a part of you they are you this is you and this is the things or the experiences you'd like to have and they have to marry because that's a part of you that's calling for expression. That's a part of you that you govern. Go for what you want. Trust your beauty and own it. And I will add a 
and follow it. Peace.